Boom does go into the PA. That's a really, really unorthodox last. A lot of damage, and by the way, we didn't really talk about it too much, but that is a position for Puck, and Kezcuta, you really gonna dive? Not quite. He will take three tier one tower hits for that harasses mid lane. They are gonna find Carl. <laughs> Makoto just solo killing off the SF two and a half minutes in. Real kill opportunities as well with this kind of dual lane. They're just really gonna have to take it slow. Uh, try to play a bit more defensively. Uh, Carl? He went in again, being very aggressive towards Makoto, and Makoto punished. The Cuckoo does have level 6. Perhaps they try to make a play with that hookshot. Looks like they will. Rocket Flare will give vision. Kenskut should be an easy kill. Zephyr is there just in case they need it. So they'll pick up the Pos 5, Auto Titan once again. Nice rotation there from Cuckoo as he'll head up top now to try and help out even more, because Whiteman is going down. You know, this is one of the big problems about the Snapfire. As soon as one of the boars hits from the Beastmaster, she can't run away. They're yeah, just trying to put their trust into Raven on this Phantom Lancer and hope he could really escalate and farm, it seems. So Carl has to be careful. There's a rotation coming in from the Elder Titan, and well, he gets stunned up. Makoto setting up here with the Static Remnant, and it looks like Carl actually survives now as Cuckoo. He finds a two man hookshot. Oh. They get Makoto with the raises, and now Kezcun does also go down to Cuckoo. Geek Fam, they're gonna smoke up. FBZ, they know exactly where he is. Orb. Gonna get vision, raises there, dream call as well. He's been silenced, he's definitely dead. Great rotation out from Geek Fam. And now boom, they wanna fight back. Zephyr gets blown up immediately, and now Dream is all joining in. They don't really want to fight here up against Cuckoo with a very nice cogs, but he pushes him down the cliff. That is not exactly what they wanted, though Cuckoo now going to be in trouble as all the ultimates have really worn off and well Dreamer Soul does jump in, but he got caught oh, by man. that Requiem and it looks like he will end up dropping as Cuckoo will be the one to pick it up on the clockwork. A very messy team fight. It's down to Geek Fam kind of playing it slow because they are just buying space for Raven as well, so they're just waiting out. Both sides are kind of waiting out for the pause ones. This is favoring Boom Esports a lot more than you have a 6 game in the results. Goes on to hide. Snapfire Kisses were committed in the mid lane. They really want those Beastmaster, well, units, and well, they'll get the Dream Cop, but Zephyr, he melts. He got a lot of creeps out of that. I, I'd say even. Pretty even to trade your life away for that. You are giving me a bit more EXP to Cuckoo stunned up with the primal roar. Batteries are going, but they do get the centaur stomp off as well. Where's the follow up though? Astral Spirit comes in with the stomp, does catch oh. two, and now the Earth Spit are flying through. This is gonna be bad. Cuckoo goes down. Man. They'll lose the SF. And Whiteman, where are you running, sir? He will actually be allowed to get away. Boom are only interested in this T1 mid tower. And it looks like they are flying at least one Mitral Hammer out. So gonna be at least doing a little bit more damage there. Did try to keep that flexibility for himself as one. They are fighting. Dream call gonna be there onto FBZ, but he is so tanky with that pipe. Those kisses that Dream Call did nothing and now Hookshot, who have they gone after? It's gonna be Kezku, but he got his ultimate out anyway. It's already there. And FBZ, he's out of mana. This is a problem. He can't get the roar off, and they will actually find that huge Beastmaster kill. And Boom ID perhaps have overextended as FBZ just did not leave. I, uh, did they I suppose... smoke under a... They smoked under a flare. Oh, that's a problem. I believe there was an Observer Ward there as well, but it didn't catch it. But yeah, the flare. Oh, uh, maybe they did it? Cuckoo? Hmm. Strange. I, I saw the flare after effects. That usually means they still had vision. Uh, there's going to be a buyback. They want to try and snipe this Roshan attempt. 
It's not going to be in time. Rocket Flare comes in, it gives vision, but it only gives vision of a Roshan that isn't there anymore. Now they will try and start the fight. FBZ, he's being taken down. His mana pool is very, very low on the Dream Core. Tether is going to be snapped, but Makoto jumps in on the SF. They'll get the Beastmaster. Can they find Carl? He'll use up. But Static Gremlin is going to be able to secure the kill as Raven going to go after Hyde and he will find that kill but it is not worth him dying. He's trying to fight back but it looks really bad. Makoto is running out of mana however and he can't actually get the hit off Raven. He's been finally slowed down but can you kill off this PL? Dagger will be dodged. Dream Assault still chasing. Just making sure. No crit. Blinks forward. Oh. Does get the crit in the end, but he can't afford to die like this. A nice cookie from Whiteman. Nakono is still going to be there to help out. They will not have the damage output. The Cuckoo. Netting him under the tier 3. Nakono just zips forward, says, Cuckoo, oh, nice. I'll take your life. No worries. Geek fam, just a lot of misplays in that team fight. So he does want to be much more active rather than uh, depending on the BKB. I think he trusts in his teammates to cop everything else for him, and FBZ has just been dying straight up. So as long as Dream Assault's not being targeted first, no issue. Oh, Dream Assault just oh, jumps man. in, gets a 1.2k crit on Whip, Whiteman, and... Well, Whiteman runs away, but Carl cannot. And Hyde has a point. I think you would have just <laughs> rather tanked the snap by kill than lose your SF like that. On your SF. And when the map shrunk this much, there might not be enough space for all of them. T2 mid does go down as well as the T2 bot. Boom, completely taking over now. And Geek fam, they're going to try and find a position 5 Elder Titan kill, and they should be just fine in doing so. Or maybe they won't. They do get it in the end, but Makoto wants to punish them for this. Raven tries to go for the TP, but Vortex is going to be there, and now Hyde with the life drain, just trying to sap the, some damage from Raven. Raven will be chased down, but Makoto is out of mana once again, but they have the Primal Roar. That'll be enough. Hyde picks up the kill. And it's only going from bad to worse for Geek Fam. As now Dream is so gonna find Zephyr Ooh. on the park. I don't believe he has a way out though. No, he does. He blinks away. Dream is so. Can you get a blink strike off? Not in time. Though he is still gonna try for it. That will hurt the PA if they're not aware. You have that going for it. They do smoke off. They are gonna try and get back into the jungle, but that. Is going to be an Ags on Dream Assault coming out as well. See if the Courier can get there in time before this team fight starts, but that could make a lot of difference as Cuckoo going to hook in straight away. They want FBZ dead. The Sans as well, but FBZ is a tanky target. Can they finish it in time? He's been feared up, still being chased down, but the life drain keeping him alive. He does get the Primal Roar off of Makoto. He cleans up Carl with that Dream Assault as well, finding Raven. And Cuckoo is going to die. And nobody on Boom ID does go down. In fact, Makoto lost his Aegis, but who cares? It was about to expire. They spent so much time on FBZ, but nobody actually cancelled off the life drain of Hyde. He just kept him alive the whole time, and they're going for tier 4s. It's GG. Oh, man. Boom Esports going for the throat and managing to clean it up. Nice and slick movement there. The Geek Fam getting demolished. I won't say they were... Definitely run down here by Boom Esports. Boom got all the timings they needed. Better looking Boom Esports because of the rep. <laughs> <I'm>, I... <laughs> Who has the, the better playability? Okay. Boom Esports. Yeah. It's still, for, for me, it's still Boom. I think it's going to be easier for them to hit their timings. And this should be a pretty decent lane for Carl. Like, this definitely does favor that monkey king has the slight range advantage has the spam ability and the capability of just staying in that yes, lane by cute. sheer right click yes cute is dead although nice spear onto raven ink swarm from hide he's gonna go after whiteman does he have the damage Ooh. he does it'll be a one for one on supports we'll even get the uh the creep pull away it's gonna make dreamer soul's life just a little bit harder Mid lane, Makoto does end up going down, and Carl, with the Boundless Strike, finishing off the Ember, and they could go for it now, FBZ, he's within range to jump Raven. It can be challenging, though, when you have Blinding Light available from Whiteman. 
Unless you have four heroes down here. In fact, they do. Dreamer Cell. Oh, the Spirit knocked him out of the arena. Raven is going to walk away, but a nice ink swell on that dominated creep. Dreamer Cell going to chase him down, but now Carl's here. And they should be able to turn oh, this. No. But a huge Fisher from Keskud. It is not going to be enough. Dreamer Cell still chasing, but this is not safe. They need to get the hell out of there. Dreamer Cell runs for his life. A homing missile will chase. Do they keep going? I don't think they'll really make it any... Oh, they will. Bound the strike. Oh, Lift no. is going to come out. Dreamer Soul, he turns around. He tries to fight like a man, but it means nothing. Boom ID just... just I don't know what they were trying to do there, like kill the gyrocopter, but once that arena was, was messed up, they just should have left. Makoto could be in trouble. Zephyr has a haste rune. Doesn't get the lift off. And but he's still there. He got the remnants. That's always nice. Chain's going to be there on Zephyr. He's got a remnant out, but he needs to use it now, and he does not get it off in time. Hide. He had the silence. And so Boom at least finds something. If they want to take a fight, they need to have their Mars in front. Although FDZ, it looks like he might be in this touch of trouble instead. Yeah, he's surrounded. Smoke rotation. Geek fam just ruining the only thing that was going well for Boom. And Carl will pick up another kill on the Monkey King. That'll extend the net worth lead to 6k. The way of Geek fam. Look at that net worth. He's at 4.5k. He's 3k behind the offlane centaur of Cuckoo. He's still they can... blade meal. Oh. They do get an arena, so it's gonna be Zephyr going down again. You know, normally you'd say that's not the greatest kill in the world, but anything is good right now. In fact, they're gonna try after Cuckoo. This could be huge. Inkswell will connect, but do you have the damage? Will a wisp will be dropped, and now the Wukong's command gonna fly out. Still Makoto gets out of there, but FBZ, he is stuck in the middle of all of it. He's going nowhere, and they will find one in the form of Hyde, and FBZ also will go down. And they just couldn't finish off the mid T1 tower while all that was happening either. I don't think that's gonna do enough. It's just gonna give him a little bit more presence, but really not much more than he already has. I agree. They're gonna find Carl, but they're gonna try. Inkswell gonna be out there. Carl just stands there and man fights. Jingru Proc is there, but can you burst him down? They may be able to, oh. and they do. Oh, okay. That's not good, Carl. That is not good. It's a lot of gold going away from Kato. A lot of EXP. Well, it's gonna be one of the bigger pickoffs they have. That swing just went down to 6k. Or the wave. Keskew should drop here on the Earthshaker and does. They do find a support. Stampede? For what? Hmm. Oh, now without the Stampede, Makoto says, I'll go. Arena, gonna be there. Zephyr, he will drop immediately. Now they'd love to find Cuckoo. He's a bit of a tanky target, but he's worth a, quite a bit of gold right now. His call down will fly out. They aren't gonna be able to finish the job. Perhaps they turn on Raven, but it looks unsafe. As now Carl has... Ex Came in, although Cuckoo getting very, very low on that centaur. And Carl wants sweet, sweet revenge, but can he find it? He'll go after Hyde. FBZ, a nice spear on the Monkey King. Now the Inkswell just controlling up this monkey. They'll get him, and now the Echo comes out. It's pretty huge from Keskude, but is it enough? That Will-O-Wisp really distracting them during this teamfight, but Makoto, he found Whiteman. Now they run forward. They found the Gyrocopter. Raven oh no. goes down, but Zephyr, he jumps in with the remnants. It at least gets Makoto, but it will cost his own life, and they still want more. They want Carl on the Monkey King. He should be safe. But that is a huge team fight for Boom. Of course, any kill really does mean a tower right now. Uh, anything they can find means that Boom ID will take at least one objective. Who is it they are going to find? They'd love to get Cuckoo right now on the center. He doesn't have Stampede. He does get Ink Swelled. And it looks like he is getting bursted, though Wukongs will save his life for now. But the Soulbind holding him into the stroke of fate will take him out. Meanwhile, Makoto going straight after Zephyr. And he does get him with a slide of fist. It's a two for nothing trade as Carl jumps in after Makoto. He throws a remnant. He'll survive as they go for more. Carl, you can't die like this. But oh, the man. arena drops. FBZ with the follow up. And Carl is going down. That, oh John, this is really, really upsetting to see for Geek Fam. Like, they were so far ahead. No. The Lycan's caught up. He's at 9k now, and 
He's got the full book coming out, Necro 3 book on the way. Uh, Makoto has found Cuckoo. He has a double damage room bottled up and a new Deso. He pops the blade mail, still not popping the DD because he doesn't need to. Cuckoo's dead. I love that. Coming out from Makoto, just going straight for that Desolator after finishing up the blade mail, just play off that physical damage. Cuckoo's not there to tank the, and be in the front lines with the Stampede. Who else is going to jump in? Like, Carl's just getting destroyed every time he tries. And uh, against all odds, at 23 minutes in, it'll be Boom that takes the first Roshan. And by the way, that net worth lead, now down to 1k. And, oh, Cuckoo, no. They just took a Roshan. Oh my, my, my. And now they move forward as Whiteman chained oh. up. Makoto catches him and he is dead. That damage coming out from Makoto with the double damage room. He took more than half of the HP of Whiteman. Just melted. Just, just careless. Geekfam kind of slipping up here, giving a couple of kills they shouldn't be. They're going to lose this uh, tier 2 as well. You have to remember, Dreamo Cell does have the Necro Trees now. So he's going to be able to melt pretty effective. Still has the shape shift as if they want to. Mid lane? More. FBZ drops the arena, but he is by himself. Raven had a BKB up, pops oh, up no. at the Soulbind oh, no. just in time, holding him down. And here comes Makoto, gets the chains, has Inkswell. They want the Gyro first, but a huge Will O' Wisp. And oh. now the Echo comes out. The Gyro goes down. Bakal is trying to fight back. Makoto is low and he does lose the Aegis, but here comes Dreamer Cell. Oh, he will find Whiteman. And the only man left is Carl, who will manage to jump out of there. Still, you would argue, a better team fight for Boom. They got the better gold change. Yeah, I. Can't say I agree with it either. This is, uh, this is not exactly tops in timing. That's for sure. No FBZ. Gonna jump in. Fisher gonna be there on Carl, but they found the spear on Whiteman, and that's the Coddle gone. Now with the Inkswell on the Mars, they almost found him, but Zephyr does save the day. But Dreamer Cell, he will take care of Zephyr. Ooh. Still, they're trying to fight. Will O' Wisp is gonna be there. FBZ in the middle of it with the arena, and they go straight after Carl. The Monkey King is dead. The BKB Stana wear off on the Gyro as Whiteman. He'll die back on the Keeper of the Light. And this game is getting harder and harder as time goes on. Boom will not go for a T3 push as the wave is not going to be around for them. And the, the buybacks did come out from Carl, but... Are they, are they actually going to fight? What? This is not the fight. Cuckoo jumps in on the Grimstroke. They'll start on Hyde, but they're going to lose Zephyr. It's a dieback on the Rubik. Hyde will buy back on the Grimstroke now. They want to keep fighting. Carl, but the Echo cares cute. He jumps in and finds three of them. He will go down in the end, but they'll lose Raven. Cuckoo's about to fall as well as Makoto is just controlling everybody. They can't even kill the Mars. This could be GG. Is Carl's trying to run away, but how many diebacks are we seeing here? He's caught. That's a dieback on the oh. monkey. I think the game's over. That's awesome. They should An be able to melt Trudy's objective. Dream Hotel just assembled his assault creeps in the enemy base. They're, it looks like they just want to play it safe. They're, they're going to go for the mega creeps. Okay. And just, uh, they don't want to. You know, they are ahead. They know that they could just swing back. That uh, GG's been called. called. All yeah. right. Just like that. All right. Boom. It looked if, right? Geek Fam had a much better start this time around. What small mistakes like Carl getting caught out, the positioning into his fights, and Boom just finds a way back in.